the wall at Woolloomooloo is a little bit like the suburb itself, okay? So the Finger Wharf is 15, 16 years old. In 2000 it was reborn and it was turned into the wonderful building it is now. When people come to Otto, what they experience at the first instance is a smile and a warm welcome. And then in the Australian-Italian tradition, you know, we say, would you like a little asaji, maybe a little cocktail, a little something, a Negroni or something like that. Restaurant is theatre. That's what it is. Okay, we're, we're, we're telling a story, we're putting on a show. And that's where people get to engage with each other and they're the audience and they're the performers at the same time. When we overhauled the branding here with Saatchi and Saatchi, we noticed a very particular change in the demographic. Uh, people were younger and the old guard sort of also came along as well. So we're, where the wharf is now, it's at a really good place. The Avolo Hotel has just pumped a lot of money into it and it's a very forward-thinking hotel. I really think we're going to get a lot of international visitors enjoying this groovy little hotel in this fantastic building and then they'll, they'll probably slide down here and go for a wander around the park. There's all the restaurants here, there's the art gallery up there. It's just such a beautiful little pocket of the world. So here at China Doll, uh, we do uh, lots of different interpretations of uh, Asian food from all across Southeast Asia. The really exciting and humbling thing uh, about China Doll is that um, we've kind of built it from scratch and for the first two years no one really knew who we were and we didn't really know who we were either. So it's, it's kind of evolved uh, and developed um, in an organic way. It's all thanks to the dedication of the hard work of all the team members here, uh, all the owners and obviously uh, our customer base as well. Now there are some dishes on the menu, um, which obviously I can't take off because our regulars, they, they'd fry me, they'd, they'd shoot me. So, uh, but within that menu, there's a diverse range. Uh, there's a large, a large variety there. So there's something for everyone. Uh, people want to come in and order their usual dish, no problem with that. There's also some room for experimentation and movement as well because food trends do come and go and we do have to cater to what our customers want. So couple that with um, all, the, all, the, all the ideas, um, all, all, all the, uh, all the sort of energy uh, of my team as well. Um, that, that makes for an interesting mix. So there's every opportunity to look after everyone here and that's, that's our number one goal. Overlow Woolloomooloo. We launched on the 1st of November in 2015. Uh, which was the 100th year anniversary of the wharf down here at Woolloomooloo. So it was quite a significant um, year, not just for Overlo um, internationally, but for the company, but um, for the wharf and the community down here at Woolloomooloo. It's a garden, it's a tea room, it's a library, uh, it's, a, it's a pool room. Um, it's a lot of different things, I guess, um, as opposed to one big open space. Uh, the residents are coming in and using it like their own lounge room. They're coming in for coffee, for lunch, for breakfast, for a drink, uh, for a snack any time of the day connecting to the Wi-Fi and conducting business, having meetings, and we encourage that. We want it to be sort of like a bit of a hub for the local community. So Overlow, I guess, to the Sydney market and the Australian market are very much disruptors in the industry. Uh, we now have um, a lot of other hotel chains, and a lot of chains are very curious as to what we're doing and very interested and, um, and realise that the, 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 the game has changed, the goalposts have moved. Uh, there's definitely a lot of interest, a lot of talk, and uh, I think it's about time. I, I think hotels in Sydney have been very traditional for too long um, and, and, and needed a bit of a, bit of a boost. And, and we've brought that fresh life, not just to the, to the wharf here, uh, or into this hotel, but I think to the Sydney hotel market. And I think it's very exciting. It is all about the F word. Overlow loves the F word. Overlow hearts the F word. Free. We love, we, we love freebies. Love fun, we love fashion, and we love free stuff. Well, our guests certainly do. Uh, and we love making our guests happy, so therefore, we love it too. Amanda sits so well in that eco environment, which is really Sydney Harbour, a profile of the city, a profile of Macquarie Park, all the things that are beautiful and yet you're, you're really in the suburbs. You're in a terrific community where you've got people living above you, a hotel next to you. And what we try and do here is try and, and envelop that experience with sharing what is in essence a seafood and meat restaurant with a high quality, everything is focused around the produce, which I think is what Sydney dining is about. 
and that's what we try and emulate here all the time, and particularly with people coming and going, uh, whether they be international guests, whether they be locals, which we rely on enormously and which we love having here all the time. I think also the casualness of just being on the water, uh, whilst being right next to the city, and, and obviously in the suburbs in a sense, you can walk in here in a pair of shorts, you can come in here in a suit, you can enjoy it how you like. I think that's the main thing, whether you're living here, visiting here, coming from the suburb next to you, the city next to you, or from further out, that, that's what we try and do here and make the experience good. I'm Kumar Mahadevan, owner and chef of Aki's Indian Restaurant in the Ulmulu Wharf. Aki's brings modern Indian food to a different level with still keeping the integrity and the soul of the food intact. Sydney, we are blessed in Sydney with fresh produce and we are here to exhibit some of our best produce available in Sydney and, and to so I speak all of Australia. Uh, my food is light, modern and yet traditional with a lot of innovation on the food. Most of my uh, diners are regulars and once you get uh, to eat my food, there's no escape. You, 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 are, you are quite uh, addicted to it. You know, Sydney is, is very much becoming a, a touch point internationally. People want to come to Sydney. You know, I think it's created a bit of a, a community sense within the wharf here at Woolloomooloo, and we encourage that. We want it to be sort of like a bit of a hub for the local community. It's an environment where you really feel like you could be anywhere in the world.